going on to all my Taurus out there. So um, let's get into it. So you Taurus, we've got the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Hermit. You've got the uh, Judgment, the Nine of Cups. So this is the Knight of Cups, right? And then you have the Nine of Cups. So you have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Temperance, and last but not least, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here for you, uh, Taurus, is you're in a situation right now where maybe some of you Taurus happen to be want okay so you taurus want to finally move on okay uh you how do i say this you taurus are starting to come out of the melancholy that you were in right the 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 throes the dissolution of past relationships particularly the one that you may have just got out of. and um let me move this over some there you go so and as a result of this, this is a situation for y'all where y'all want to move on towards someone better, right? But maybe the month may not necessarily be up for you. Again, this is why, as I say, take a month. You've taken a month. Even after you think that you've healed, you still have extra days as a, as a time for you to actually see if you really healed or if, or if this is a situation where you ultimately really need that extra few days, right? So, um, because sometimes, you know, sometimes let's, let's just say, for instance, I say take a month and like on day 15 of the month, you're like, oh, okay, I'm healed now, right? You done did the work. And then on day 24, it starts to act up again. And you're like, oh, I thought I was healed. You know, I thought that I was done with this. Well, you still have six, seven extra days left, right? And when I say six, six, seven extra days left, I mean it from a perspective of when you've now got yourself out of that situation far enough to where that kind of process is not going to seriously really affect you. Now, it's still going to be in your subconscious, right? It's most definitely still going to be in your subconscious, but it's not going to be fresh in your mind where... It's like you're trying, you know, you're, you're juggling two tasks at the same time. You are essentially getting to know this person while at the same time dealing with the, with the trauma that you have had to deal with from the past. You don't want to do that because then the person whom you're getting to know, right, or supposed to be getting to know and your own personal issues, they're starting to blur where, you, you know, you may end up getting confused with what the situation is, with what the situation was. So as a result of this, the Knight of Cups represents a lot of y'all can really start to date right now, but take a couple of days off. Take like uh, two weeks off still, because essentially, like I said before, when it comes to dating or with anything else, it takes a week to break a habit, right, of not doing that. And it takes three more weeks to create a new habit. So thus, thus why does I say take a month? You're taking a week of that month, right? The original week that you got yourself into that breakup and you're not messing with them. The first week is going to be the most difficult due to the fact that you're breaking the habit of knowing this person, right? This person, especially if this person was around a lot, you're in this situation where you still have a lot of memory or memories of dealing with this person, still interacting with this person, things of this nature. And then after about the first week, now it starts to dwindle a little bit, right? So what happens is, is that this is a situation for you now where the next three weeks after that is about you building habits. What's the habit? What is the new habit? The new habit is you relearning what it feels like to be single again. And that becomes the habit. And then, like I said, if you want to really, if you, if you must date immediately, then you can go ahead and begin to date. But also too, you're giving yourself a month because you're also, remember the memories that is associated with it, right? The memories that are, are associated with it. Um, it's starting to dwindle, right? And it's starting to be stored to where the memories are still there, 
but it's starting to not affect you as much. But however, another powerful process is for you, Taurus, to actually learn to forgive yourself and forgive the other person as well. And that will really, that will really speed up the process because let me turn this light on. That will really speed up the process because what happens here is, is this is pretty much a situation where what you've got going on is people who just get themselves out of a relationship. See, this is part of the reason, and, and I'm saying all this to say this because it, it has to be talked like this, right? It has to be said. This is how it is that you can tell people who are in relationship after relationship after relationship after relationship after relationship. It's because they have, it's because they, they, they date all of these people and all of these people's personalities start to blur, right? Because they're, they're jumping from person to person to person. And it's like, listen, you need to give yourself a break, right? This is one of the reasons why it is that when I see people out here running off so that they can date and date and date and date, it's like, yo, give yourself a break because what's going to happen is you're going to end up being miserable because you're getting intimate with all these people. You're, all these people's information and all this stuff, their birthdays and stuff like this is starting to happen to you. And it's, and it's making you mad. It's, it's, it's pulling you in too many different directions. So the month, at least the month is necessary. And even though you may be ready to move on, the hermit represents you're still gonna be, you're still gonna be met with knuckleheads. Regardless of what Taurus you are and what you into, you're still going to be met with knuckleheads. So if you if you haven't dealt with that issue and then you get yourself back into the dating game, what's going or the dating pool, what's going to happen is you're going to be in a situation, Taurus, where um, you're going to be dating again a knucklehead, a, a person who is playing games, but you're going to get even more hurt, right? And and. You're going to stay in a situation with them a little bit too long trying to see how they could hurt you. And that's not the wisest thing for you to do, right? And then the thing is that the judgment represents this is what it is that you want. You want to be able to get rid of any kind of relationships that you do not want. How do you do that? You do that by ultimately putting yourself into a situation where you learn game. You understand what exactly is going on, how you do that is by being vigilant, paying attention. When people are out here running game on you, you know, oh, this person running game on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them by themselves because you, you tourists are supposed to be on something else by now. Y'all are not even supposed to be waiting, if, uh, um, waiting and seeing what people do or even giving people the time of day who want to be on some knuckleheaded type stuff. So then you have the Nine of Cups and the seven of wands. The nine of cups and the seven of wands represents this being a situation for you where you're supposed to be sitting here comfortably with a new relationship. But the problem is, is that you gotta work seven of wands. I know I'm flying through this, <laughs> but, the, but the seven of wands represents you gotta be in a situation where you gotta work extra hard due to the fact that you have so many knuckleheaded individuals out here. But a lot of you tourists need to understand though that the type of like there are an overabundance of knuckleheads, but you have to also take into consideration that the knuckleheads that you bring to you and you allow into your life are the knuckleheads that that you allow into your life. Because, see, when people say you are what it is that you you are attracting. People have it wrong. It's not correct. What what it means when they say because most people. Because most people think when they say you are what you attract is whatever it is that you have walking up to you and you uh, walking up to you and, and like kicking it with or whatnot at the very beginning, right, is who you are. No, that's not what it is. What it means is the people who you create long term, supposed to be long term established relationships with is who you are, meaning if you if you get together with a, 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 a deranged individual who's tearing up your house, remember, you wanted to, you wanted to be a one-on-one -on -one relationship with this person. 
you actually try to make it work work with this deranged individual when you shouldn't have even tried to do that you should have seen this person as being deranged and you should have kept it pushing right and i guess if you wanted to if you wanted to take a walk on a wild side i guess you can get intimate if, if you want to play games like that but um to say attract what they really mean is is that if you go steady with this person, if you actually become, if you actually ignore everything and you and you get yourself into a relationship with this individual, right? Right? And when I say a relationship, I mean a serious one. Yeah, you know, you and this person actually see each other a lot during the week. You and this person may even live together. That's what they mean when they say that uh who you are is who you attract, right? If you're just in you're if if you're just in the the confines of you just getting to know the person and the person turns out to be a completely deranged delusional individual that's not you why per se that's not you per se because you're not you're not necessarily you're not necessarily trying to um make this person your the you know what i'm saying like Move, moving them up to the main slot if you catch my drift. You're not necessarily trying to move them into your uh, residence or really get to know them or put a ring on their finger or any of that type of stuff and be in any kind of serious long-term union with them. You're just getting to know them. And considering that the majority of people are playing games, what about the decent people? If they are attracting dysfunctional people in the sense that they're trying to get to know individuals. Does that mean that they are dysfunctional off the rip if they come across a, a, a dysfunctional individual? But what happens if they decide to leave these people alone because they see red flags? But that's my point, though. So the thing is that the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands represents um, what see and see, this is what it is that you need to watch out for. So you need to also learn to put the, put this kind of thing into perspective, right? understand the differences between you are what you are track what you are what you let into your life long term versus um what it is that you're just getting to know right a lot of times people use certain sayings and they may not necessarily know what the sayings actually mean right so the thing is that the temperance in the knight of pentacles the temperance in the Knight of Pentacles represents this being a situation for you where the next step, the next step for you to do is for you to carve out your own lane. The temperance on the card, the temperance on the card represents, to be quite honest with you, the temperance on the card represents the, the, the enlightened one, right? So it represents how the next step for you to go with this is for you to carve out your own destiny. The type of relationships who the type of relationships that you will have after this reading, you got to be very mindful about the type of people whom you are whom you are attracting. So if you bring those type of people into your relationships for a long period of time and it's supposed to be a serious relationship, then that's who you are. Because if you're just getting to know somebody and the person is acting, you know, acting with these antics and they end up in, you know, and they end up flaking on you. Yeah, it's supposed to hurt because you didn't even, it's supposed to hurt either way because you, number one, you didn't take the time to actually get to know this person for a long period of time. You wish that things would have gone, gotten a little bit further than this. You wanted things to actually turn out to be good for the both of you, but this person may have essentially betrayed you. And it hurts later too. It doesn't matter what time frame to betray you. The betrayal hurts no matter what, because then it hurts later on due to the fact that you spent all this amount of time, trying, you know, getting to know this person, actually trusting this person, interacting with this person, spending all this time with this person, money, attention, all this other type of stuff. And then they still betray you anyway. So when I say the type of people whom you are attracting, I'm not necessarily talking about the people whom you just meeting at like a bar or on the street where you just pass and you got to stop somebody and say something to somebody that's not what i mean i mean the type of people whom you are getting to know 
you ignore the red flags, you got issues, you see it, but then you make up excuses for it because you because you you think that this you think this person is in the process of the healing process and they're not. The Knight of Pentacles represents how, yeah, you've got to be able to move on with yourself because you have so much more to offer other people. And people are not going to be able to actually get a chance, nor are you going to allow yourself to get a chance if you're out here on some of that stuff. Because you're going to be spending a lot of your time dating dysfunctional people. Now, let's clarify the temperance. So you have the Three of Swords, okay, the, knight, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. The Three of Swords is... Allow this heartbreak, this the past heartbreak that I talked about at the very beginning, allow this to be a learning lesson for you. What did you learn? What did you do right? Uh, what could you have done better, right? Same thing for the other person. Um, so that you can have a better understanding of, 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 of the game, right? Understanding what, how to handle the, the game, right? Because... The problem is, is that um, you're in a situation where when you don't um, examine your situations, when you don't examine who you uh, actually are hanging out with, heartbreak is bound to uh, show up at that point. So the thing is that the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands are by how um, also too don't ignore what it is that you see don't ignore what it is that you you realize once you see that this person is not the brightest bulb on a tree nor they the sharpest knife in a drawer it's time for you to actually leave this person alone because it's already kind of terrible enough that they may have suffered they may suffer from low iq but they're suffering from low decency level too the four, the, uh, the four of uh, wands represents, and you can't really build a home with people like that. And certainly don't invite them into your residence because your residence will be torn up, torn to pieces. And that, you know, so just keep that in mind, Taurus, all right? Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. I'm trying to get this YouTube channel to 2,500 subs by the end of this year. As of right now, we have... I have 2,315 subscribers. Keep smashing that subscribe button. Keep smashing that like button. Keep smashing that uh, uh, um, notification bell and click all on that notification bell so we can go ahead and get notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.